Friday night and I feel alright. The party's here. Welcome back to Fit Stop, your health conscious pit stop. Today I'm going to be showing you a breakfast shake that I have almost every single day and you won't believe something that tastes so good can be so healthy for you as well. This one is called the Spiced Caramel and I tricked you a little bit with the title, there's not any caramel in this so apologies for uh, clickbaiting you in here but it doesn't need any caramel anyway because it just tastes awesome on its own. So let's jump into it, spinach. Tons of nutritional benefit coming from spinach. Uh, I don't know if you guys have watched Popeye the cartoon, so there was the guy and he was, uh, he'd crush the can of spinach and then he'd like have bulging arms and his arms are double in size. We're not gonna get that kind of reaction, but we are gonna pack a nutritional punch with this. So we're gonna take about two pretty big handfuls. Just drop that straight in there and press it down. There's so much nutritional benefit from spinach. In a list of about 15 greens, this ranks at about number five. So that comes after watercress, um, beet greens, uh, Chinese cabbage, and chard as well. So this one's number five, but still packs a nutritional punch. There's loads of vitamin K in there, which is really good for calcium absorption. It's really high in vitamin A. Uh, which is great for your eyes and cell regeneration, so that's a really important vitamin to have as well. So we've got both of those in there. The thing about using spinach that I prefer to use in watercress or something like that, it's got a pretty much a neutral flavor. So when you add it into the shake, you can't taste anything else. Uh, it doesn't have a very pungent flavor like kale wood or something like that. If you want for the nutritional benefit, you can add watercress, but that's got a very strong peppery flavor. Moving on to the next ingredient is banana, which is very rich in potassium, uh, an electrolyte which will keep you sustained in the gym. So you may notice that this one's very ripe, and there's two reasons for doing that. The first one is it's much sweeter when it's ripe, so you know there's the flavor there. There are a lot more sugars in there, but it also has a lot more antioxidants in there the riper it gets. So, you know, just this is all about adding more nutritional benefits to the food that you're eating. We get the added taste as well because it's nice and sweet. So we're just gonna drop these bits in here. One of the important things about bananas, like I mentioned, it has potassium, which is an electrolyte, which is very important for muscle contractions. So if you're going to the gym and you're not quite feeling that pump that day, then you may not have had enough potassium or sodium, which are the two key electrolytes to keeping you hydrated. So when you go to the gym, make sure you're having enough water, stay hydrated, but also have enough electrolytes in your day to day as well. Next on the list, we have goji berries. So if you remember from the last episode, these were bigged up a lot by me for their antioxidant properties. The day to days of our lives where we get stressed, we get run down, air pollution, um, taking in chemicals from industrial processes, whatever it is, these will create free radicals in the body. And the antioxidants are almost like a martyr that will go in there and neutralize these free radicals before they can cause damage to other cells. For the acute eye of you guys watching at home as well, you may notice that I've got some cacao nibs in there as well, just a little few. Again, extremely high antioxidant properties and that's really gonna give more of a nutritional kick to this. So I'm gonna add those into the mix. Moving on to nuts. So this is a blend of a load of different nuts. You can buy these pre-mixed in the supermarket or I prefer to make my own mix. That way I can have like a huge spectrum of nutritional benefits from a big variety of nuts as opposed to just a few that they select for you in the supermarket. Nuts are a great addition to the recipe for a bunch of reasons. So the first one is they're very high in polyamonounsaturated fats and omega-3s as well. The omega-3s help to fight inflammation in the body and the polyamonounsaturated fats are very good for your cardiovascular health. But also, by including these into the mix, there's a lot of vitamins in there, like A and K, like I mentioned from the spinach. They are some of the fat-soluble vitamins. So there's four vitamins which are fat-soluble, which is A, D, E, and K, which means you need to ingest some fats with them in order for them to be properly broken down and utilized by the body. All of the vitamins are water-soluble, so by including this, we're gonna be able to have some fats in there as well to help with the breaking down and the absorption of those vitamins. So just gonna add these into the mix. So yeah, it's really important to get enough fats, especially if you are 
supplementing with vitamins as well because these fat soluble vitamins they can build up in the body you can have too much of a good thing guys if you have too much vitamin A in your diet it can actually build up in the liver to a toxic level so everything in moderation next on the list is almond and coconut milk you know you can buy one or the other but you can get a blend of both so I just opt for this one because I can um, very good vitamin E content and calcium as well. So, you know, the vitamin K that we've got in there from the uh, spinach will also help with the calcium absorption from this. So, you know, these guys are all working together to create a really good health cocktail almost. So we're gonna add, I don't know, about two, 300 mil into the mix. Just enough to get it, just enough to cover the ingredients that are in there so far. Next on the list is one of these ginger, turmeric, and bromelain tablets. So these guys are pretty much like the power three when it comes to anti-inflammatory benefits. Inflammation in the body is what causes a lot of the problems down the road, so like arthritis, cancers, whatever it is. So the more we can reduce that now by you know supplementing with things like this, natural ingredients, the better and healthier we're gonna be in the long run. So you can just swallow this in capsule form. Um, there's not actually like a plastic coating on there or anything, but this is gonna add the spice element to this spice caramel smoothie. So, and also like if you blend it up, if you drop it in there and blend it up as well, there's more of a surface area. So it's not just gonna sit there slowly breaking down. It's fully blended up in the shake, which then allows you to absorb it much quicker. Also the anti-inflammatory benefits, when we go to the gym and we train and we rip up our muscle fibers and stuff like that, that sore, that pain and aching is all inflammation. So this can even assist with the recovery process after a workout as well. The bromelain ingredient in here as well is derived from pineapple and that enzyme also helps breaking down protein. So the whey protein that's going to go into this mix will also be broken down and assisted by the bromelain. So I'm just gonna split this into two and drop that one right in there. The next ingredient is gonna be whey protein. So I've got about two and a half scoops in here, which is about 60, 65 grams of protein. So I'm gonna drop this straight into the mix. The reason I've opted for whey is because, like I said, it's very fast absorbed by the body, but also after you've been fasting for about six, seven, eight hours at night time, if you take the shake first thing in the morning, the amino acids are gonna be digested and then into your bloodstream within about an hour of taking this. If you have chicken, that takes about four or five hours to break down before your body can use the amino acids. If you have egg whites, then that's gonna take maybe two to three hours. Whey protein is one of the fastest absorbing proteins that you can take. So great first thing in the morning. That's why I have this in my breakfast shake. And I'm just gonna add that straight in there. I really feel like I've got a funnel for this. In my experience, vanilla protein works best with all of the fruit smoothies. Chocolate comes out tasting a little bit weird. So, you know, just from my experience, go with vanilla. The final touch is gonna be a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of ginger. So, as we've already included some of the ginger, I'm not gonna add too much of that in there, but this one is cinnamon. So, just jump into the health benefits of cinnamon again. Very good at regulating your blood sugars, so there won't be too much of an insulin spike from the banana that's in there already. It's anti-inflammatory properties, just as all these herbs and spices, so the more you can incorporate herbs and spices into your diet, they are zero calorie pretty much, and they've just got so much of a nutritional benefit as well, so if you're looking at you know, improving the taste of your meals, the health benefits as well, look at adding spices and herbs into your food. I'm gonna add, this is a very tiny spoon, so, I don't want you guys to add too much of this because I've made that mistake in the past. So this is probably a quarter of a teaspoon. So I'm just gonna drop that straight on the top. It looks a little bit light, so I'm just gonna drop a little bit more because this is the XL size of this cup. So I love the taste of cinnamon anyway. That's another great added benefit is it tastes really good. Next one is ginger. And this again is gonna help with the spiced element of this spiced caramel smoothie. So again, just about a quarter of a teaspoon and I drop that straight on top. So that concludes all the ingredients that have gone into this. I'm gonna blend it up and I'll show you that it's drinkable. I'm gonna pop this on top. Just give it a nice little shake so the water is on the bottom of the milk. And Time to blend. If 
you're using a neutral bullet, then I'd suggest giving it a few little pulses right at the end because sometimes that tablet doesn't quite break up in there. So if you just let it rest a second, then you can, the, the tablet will sink to the bottom so you can hit it with the blades again. So if you're using something else, then I'm sure it'll be fine. So there you have it. If you are putting these into my fitness pal, then I would overshoot the ingredients just a little bit. So you know, where if it's 30 grams of goji berries, maybe go for 32 or 33, just because stuff like that happens, you get a lot of residue on the top, and once you've drank it as well, then there's residue on the sides. So if you want to stay very on point with your calories, then that's a way to do it. Final bit is just to turn this blender into a cup. And cheers! You guys have to try this. This is my breakfast like every single day. And again, you wouldn't believe something that tastes so good can be so healthy for you at the same time. So stay tuned for more recipes. I'll see you next time.